Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Fabled Storm. I am Storm, and my Fable today is going to be a game called Darksiders. Now, I really love this series. Uh, I've played them all before, but I haven't played the War Master Edition, which is uh, what this one is uh, for the first Darksiders. Um, I, I really, really liked uh, Darksiders. I own it in, for several different consoles. Uh, I've played two A and three. Uh, and Genesis, I own all of them. Um, I would be really excited to see where they go if they make another one. Um, and so we're just going to get into this game. We're going to see what we got going on here, like what they updated. I think most of it's probably just visual updates. Um, I, I doubt they added stuff to the game. I'm not entirely sure. But we're going to go ahead and find out and get this, uh, get this shindig on the road. So... Uh, I want to say uh, thanks for coming to the channel, if it's your first time, um, and, you know, I hope you stay and enjoy it, and really get into Darksiders, the series, Darksiders, the universe, it's just a really interesting universe for me. Okay, so that's the startup screen I'm used to, the one uh, from the original game. We are going to do a new game because I don't remember what I've played of this, how much, or anything like that. So we're just going to do a new game. Yes, I'm it's fine with that. Uh, we'll do normal. Um, but I think the voice actors are really cool in this. Um, Since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Chard Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the Council and its laws, for none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the Council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named. The Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between heaven and hell. The great pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time, when man's kingdom stood ready for the end war. A battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms. It would have been ridiculous if the whole game was in like in this level of graphics. But this came out at a time when uh, this was sort of the thing. All the cutscenes were super fancy like this, especially the opening ones. And then the rest of the game's cutscenes were to the game's regular graphics. Um, they did the same thing with like Prototype and several other games. Super, super dead people. Yeah. 
Everybody scream for the party bus. And then finally the horseman emerges. War. Sent to bring peace and balance back to the universe. The horseman has arrived. He just looks so sick. things that this game was talked about uh, when it first came out was that it was sort of like if you loved all the dungeons and platformer stuff that came with uh, like Legend of Zelda and sort of that um, that genre those kind of dungeons and stuff but you wanted like God of War style combat which you know the finishing moves quick time that kind of stuff uh, this game was a good in between and to be fair, honestly, it was. Let's mess this guy up. And, it, and we will go out of chaos form. Or no, we won't cut scene. Has it been taken from us yet? Can we... Can we go in and out of it a little? Okay, that's right. Can I pick up cards and throw my people yet? Okay. Okay, well, it's been a minute since I played this game. Whoa, got lost there. Uh, but I just, like, I love his sword. I love all the stuff that comes with. The style is really neat. It was written up by a, a comic book artist, Joe Mad, I believe was the guy who uh, did the artwork and whatnot. I'll go back into chaos form. But it's just a really interesting uh, story, a different uh, tell, play on sort of what's going on uh, with, I guess, like the, the biblical stuff. Um, but the horsemen are just really cool and their story is really cool. All right, there's an ancient guardian. Angels. I don't want to have to hurt you. But you left me no choice. Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. You know what? I'm going to go back out of chaos. Let's go. Where's that last one? Come near you. Yeah, I wanted a finishing move, one of these guys. Oh, come on. No. Um, yeah, just War's Armor. Everything about this game when it first came out was super cool. And because I am a huge fan of The Legend of Zelda, God of War, stuff like that. What is happening? Oh, no. My health got lower, and I can't use Chaos Form anymore. What happened? Look at this guy. The, just the character designs are super cool in these games. Um, and they get even cooler because in the second and third games, they sort of give more of a backstory to uh, these other characters and make them more... Um, the player has more interaction with them other than they're just sort of like an obstacle you have to get around. I mean, they're still an obstacle, but they're a different kind of obstacle. Oh. Gotta kill the bad guys. And apparently two humans. Oh no, you went down in the hole. Yeah, and I'm not nearly out. What is shooting me? Oh, man. I ain't got time for all that, man. Whoa, no, sir. Get down here, you. Stop shooting at me. You're gonna use up my health bar. 
I don't think your bullets are gonna do anything to hurt me, Mr. Cop Guy. Yeah, but it's just got a very comic book uh, art style sort of thing going on. The creatures are neat. The story is neat. Uh, the voices are are some of the. That's what I was gonna say before the first cutscene came on, and it explained sort of like uh, a little bit of the backstory. So uh, the voice um, for War is actually the same guy who does the voice for Gara in uh, the American uh, dub of Naruto, like the English dub. Um, and if you do Gara's voice and then just go deeper and more grown up with it, you get War's voice, essentially. And it's just really cool to hear. I wish I could... Whoa, you have a recess? No. Oh, it is sticking off the wall. I don't remember that TV being like that. I don't know if I noticed that before or not. Climb up the goofy walls. Um, and then... In, a, in just a bit, you'll get... I'm not going to hurt you, sir. Um, oh, wait, what? Oh, to jump on the wires? Yeah. Full on. Look at this beast. I'll put him next to a human in a second. He's tall as... as a oh, I can't go back now. Was that the only wire strong enough to hold me? Look at this guy. Normal human. Let's say that guy's six foot. This guy's seven foot. What's weird is that when they become sort of zombie things, he looks so much shorter. Oh, okay. Jump down there. Oh, get off that. Oh. Leave me alone. I love fast jump. That's one thing I hated about some of the Legend of Zelda's is that you have to wait forever to be able to, uh... Those are always really funny, too. The weirder things where you can make them... Oh. Uh... You can make the character sort of break the world around you. But to be fair, I believe this game came out in 20... The original release date was 2010. I think this came out right around the time, either before, maybe a little bit after God of War 3, which came out in March of, uh, of 2010. But one of the cool things about this game is uh, if you were able to pre-order the original set, um, holy moly, for the old consoles, um, you guys don't give me anything right now, so killing you the normal way is really not that important. There we go. Um, you got a, a special edition comic book that came with this game that tells you a little bit of the backstory and a little bit more about the horsemen and introduces you to the other three horsemen because this game revolves around specifically only war. Um, which isn't me giving away anything. Hey, look. A giant flying unit. Um, yeah, there's really not a whole lot of anything to collect at the beginning of this game. Whoop, and, whoa. Uh, okay. Yeah, I didn't expect to land on that pipe. I didn't know that was going to happen, because you're supposed to grab onto this and slide down. It also is supposed to explain certain things, like you see how War has, like, this one giant gauntlet. That gauntlet, he has it for a reason. It's a replacement for uh, his missing arm. What happened to his arm, you might ask? Well, uh, let's just say he had an issue with the other uh, horsemen and was all like, why are we killing our own kin people? We, well, that's sort of what the council told us to do. He said, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm out. Uh, essentially, or sort of challenged them, and they were like, "You don't want to do that." But um, 
War is one of the is I believe the strongest like uh, like physically strongest horseman. Um, uh, he's the biggest and the strongest horseman uh, as far as physical strength. Where am I supposed to be going? Where's the not that way? I guess this way. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that's a good indicator. I'm going the right direction. Um, so, but the other horsemen have other abilities. Like uh, in Dark Siders Three, you have Fury, and she's the strongest magic user. Death. He's pretty much invulnerable. That's why he's death. He he really can't be killed. Sort of lore wise. graphics still super neat to watch impossible Abaddon what is this where are my brothers this cannot be the final seal <laughs> have you done? I answer the call. I feel like the audio is so off and it was really tinny when, when Abaddon spoke. That was weird. Oh, yeah. Now. Where are you pulling these cars from? Ow. You're a dick, man. There we go. Oh, come on. First, like mini boss, strap. Oh, okay. arms because he's basically a walking castle you dick bag yeah I don't like you either oh, you're gonna be a pain aren't you I'm never close enough come on more pick up the base you gonna do both arms this time Ow. That's not cool, bro. You gonna put your face over here? Ow. You're not close enough. Oh, 
Come on and die already. The other fist, we're going faster now. I don't know what happens if you die at the beginning of this. Since it's essentially the first, like, mini boss person. Come here, you. You can do that. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, B. Yeah. There we go. Uh oh. Spaghettios. Uh. <laughs> run away! Retreat! Nope. Dead. Wow, that audio changed fast. Has been broken. And so have you, horseman. <laughs> okay, so I think we're going to call it quits here tonight, guys. Um, uh, we got to fight the first little boss character. Got to little introduce you to war and sort of what's going on in the next episode. Uh, we'll meet a few new characters, some interesting voice acting going on, and then the... Uh, the conspiracies about what happened with war will continue, but until then, uh, I hope you have a good night. I hope everything goes great for you. And uh, if you liked the video, uh, go ahead and hit a like. If you like to subscribe too, if you want. If you don't, you don't have to do that either. Um, uh, but thanks for watching regardless, and I hope you have a good night. Peace, everybody.